I'm a huge fan of Mercedes Rule and Miss Lily Rave and Mr. Greenberg and Manhattan Theater Club, so I'm here for a good time. Well, I'm great. Well, I'm really anxious to see it. I love uh, Richard and David Grindley. I, you know, worked with twice on Journey's End and Pygmalion, so. Very anxious to see it. Can't wait. Lily, Lily Rabe. I'm so excited. I'm a huge, huge. I'm gonna watch her career. It's gonna be amazing. Rich Greenberg is uh, my dearest best friend. So I've known him forever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, and so um, to be at a opening of his is uh, always a pleasure, a treat, and a privilege. So. I'm uh, very happy to be here. <laughs> and this is like Henry James goes to the Catskills tonight. So it's going to be very exciting. I've spent no time in the Catskills, so I'm anxious to spend some time there tonight. Especially summer in the Catskills, right? So it's not so cold. over. I mean, opening nights are always a little a little stressful, but um, it was a wonderful, I, I think it was a wonderful night. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. I think the play has uh, um, morphed and, and uh, uh, evolved into a really interesting piece. I get to work with a lot of good people. I really do. I mean, I get, I get a great scene with every other person in the cast. I feel so lucky. And I mean, Lily, we spend a lot of time together and it's, every minute is great. I mean, Falling in love with her eight times a week is the easiest thing I've ever had to do. Well, the play was written out of a few uh, disparate impulses. One was that I was actually staying in the Catskills not too happily when I wrote it, so I, writing about it was a way of somehow writing my way out of it. The play is about a uh, family in the Catskill Mountains, a mother and daughter and their um, maid, Olivia, uh, who uh, holiday every summer in the Catskill Mountains, and it's set in 1960. And uh, literally at the beginning of the play, out of the water comes this uh, wasp, uh, gorgeous boy who uh, immediately he and the daughter Lily strike a connection, uh, much to the alarm to a degree of the, of the mother and the play is basically about the consequences of this boy entering their life. The first time I read this play was about a year and a half ago and it's sort of stayed with me ever since then um, from the moment I read it and the, the part is so incredible and the play is so is so beautiful, so funny, so haunting, um, so original and, and delicate. It's a very delicate piece. There's a, a, a great sadness at the heart of the play. Um, that is summed up in the last, you know, lines of the play. Happiness exists, but it's for other people. That sense that many of us feel, if not most of us, if not all of us at some time. It's about being emigrated and being slightly disconnected from society and not being able to communicate, not finding your way, not finding, not finding a place for you in the world. And uh, I think there's a lot of people who will recognize that, particularly this time. I think everyone is magnificent and absolutely spot on. Being on stage with Mercedes is just a, a master class every night. It's so fun to watch her and be with her and, and just fight with her on stage. It's great. It is such an honor to be on the stage with Mercedes Rule every night. I always have to stop in, in mid-scene almost to say, do you realize who this is sitting across from you? So it's wonderful. She's such a fine, fine actress. So I'm very, very, um, very privileged to be where I am. When you get to my age, you think, let's just see what's going to happen tonight. Let me take everything I know and throw it out there tonight with my other thespians and see what happens. This is the first time I've seen it in a real and a Broadway proscenium, you know, with the sort of the vaulting space, and I love the way it expands into it. I, and I think um, I was surprised by that, even, but um, that it makes me happy here. You know, I think one of the most amazing things about Rich Greenberg's writing is that you you um, you really don't know what you're going to get, and I think that you go in um, and your you know your experience in the in the beginning of the play is very different from from what it ends up being. It, it goes places that you don't see coming. Not only are the scenes individually so compelling and fun to watch and the characters are so fully drawn and the dialogue is really snapping and popping but the plot is 
really compelling. The play is very well written and it's very language oriented. I mean, it's got some great poetry in it. So uh, it's, it's just a delight, you know, it's a delight to work on.